Oh, there's a cool obstacle. Slow down. Oh, oh, confused. So waiting for our turn, there is a car coming, but it obviously sees it and is waiting for it. So moving over for that car, actually very good. I set our speed to zero. There's nobody behind me and the car's like, I'm turning right. <laughs> You're not going anywhere at zero. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. We're in the latest software update. This is beta seven, if we're still numbering them like that. And it's 2020.48.10.1, I believe. So we're heading into downtown Brighton, Michigan. And I wanna test the system, see if it's gotten better. Elon Musk did say on Twitter, it's at this point kind of two steps forward, one step back. So sometimes we may see some regressions, but so far I haven't seen anything. Disclaimer, full self-driving beta is not done. Sometimes make mistakes, sometimes can make mistakes. So my hands are ready to take over. Uh, <laughs> pretty decent right turn there, that guy. I don't know if he should have waited for me or not. You know, when you're turning right and they're turning left, right turn as the right away. But it worked out okay. Blue steering wheel means the car is making all maneuvers. I cannot take over. If I do, pretty obvious, you'll know it happened. So we are going into downtown Brighton. I'm gonna push the system, try to see what it can do. And then there are some roundabouts that lead into a mall kind of across the, on the other side of the highway. And ooh, this is nice looking. And people were telling, I was getting comments, well, from one person or two people that were saying that those roundabouts are really difficult, like for people. <laughs> now, maybe when you're watching the video, you're like, what the heck, there's nothing wrong with these. But I guess they had some weird markings or something. And people, there were a lot of accidents when they were new. And so we're gonna let the system try it. So coming up to a right turn, oh, is this a right turn? Uh, that's kind of weird. On the map, it looks like a right turn, but really you probably don't need a turn signal there. But I'm letting, you know, the car do everything despite the people behind me maybe thinking <laughs> I'm weird. So nice job moving over into this through lane. That is right turn only. I didn't even really realize that myself until the car started to move to the middle. So that was really nice. I've been telling everybody, 70 to 80% of people watching are not subscribed. So if you would like to get subscribed, I would really appreciate that. I'm trying to hit that 100K one day. I've been getting a lot of subscribers. Really appreciate that, everybody. So not a good swerve to the right there towards some parking spaces. There, was, there were no cars and no people, so I just kind of let it do its thing. Uh, like I say, I do try to let the car do as much as it can. Wow, I kind of like that move. It kind of prepared to make that right turn really nice and confident and that was awesome so we are in downtown now this is my destination here's the thing i always struggle with is i have to keep putting new things in to challenge it all right so we put in a new destination here and i'm just going to let the car kind of make its way around the back area of the downtown i want to go through oh see it's that's weird <laughs> the heck Okay, I'm, I'm just letting it figure it out. There's nobody behind me, so. Yeah, obviously that was the wrong move. I think, was that the right move? What the heck is this? Is this a road? Okay, I don't even know. I don't really wanna, I mean, okay, I'll report it because obviously um, that was very goofy and it kind of went back and forth, but okay, I guess this is a road. This is confusing to me even. I, I thought we had to keep going straight. I didn't realize we could go through that parking lot. Creeping forward for vis visibility. There is nobody there. Yeah, so that slow, like getting into the intersection and then moving slowly through it, it's, I just don't like that. And that's why in a lot of the videos I'm hitting the accelerator, even though you don't want me to. That's an interesting statue. <laughs> train tracks here, going right over those. Hopefully we'll hear a train. I will go straight for it if I do. So waiting for our turn, there is a car coming, but it obviously sees it and is waiting for it. A few more. It's kind of hard for me to see. There's kind of like a bush in the way, but the car's cameras are a little farther up than I am. So another car coming, but again, stops for it, no problem. Now it looks clear, so we should go. Look at that, very nice. All right, this looks pretty boring, so let's turn around, go back into downtown. So in older videos, when I put in a new destination like that, I've sometimes had problems where the car would do something weird when it got the new route and kind of rerouted. I have not had that for a few versions now. So it's hard to say anything's fixed because it could happen again. But for now, it seems that that is fixed. So making this left turn here at a blinking yellow. Very cool. So it had a blinking yellow arrow and blinking yellow lights 
and the car handled that perfectly. Again, waited for the car to go, and then this is too fast, but I wonder, nope, it did not see that 50 mile per hour speed limit sign. So we'll manually set it to 15. And navigating through a parking lot here. Stop sign in a parking lot, no stop line. Doing a good job there, but then it thinks this is the lane line. So that's not correct. I'll, I'll let it do a little close to the curb, but let's let it do it. Here's a speed bump that it doesn't slow down for, but we're not going all that fast. Let me speed up. Ooh, electric vehicle charging. Yeah, so I put it up to 25. The car still went slow for that speed bump, and now it's speeding up. Now this speed bump, it slowed down a little late, but it did do it. So really weird left turn there. It's obviously a one-way road with a right turning lane and a left turning lane. No straight, and the car handled that well. Nice right turn there. I'm liking this route. We're going through some residential areas. So we got here first. There's somebody to the left. I, you probably can't see them, I'm not sure. And we went when we were supposed to. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> I mean, it handled it well, but I did not expect that guy to go straight. And then over those train tracks like nothing, very nice. And this is our destination again. I wanted it to be harder. I set our speed to zero. There's nobody behind me and the car's like, I'm turning right. <laughs> You're not going anywhere at zero. That's pretty funny. So I'll let this destination get in there. Okay, so it got the route and it changed the turn signal. So I'm gonna turn up the speed and yeah, it doesn't, well, there is nobody coming. I mean, now there is, but it could have went, but I, I couldn't tell if it, was stopping at that sign, or it thought that it could go because I allowed it, so I'm just gonna have to do this turn. Again, not a normal use case, me setting it to zero and then telling it to go. So some of these goofy things I do for routes might make it more difficult. There's a roundabout ahead. Oh, I guess we didn't go through, okay. Well, we're going through this one. We'll see if we'll go through the yield sign or not. Nope, it says stopping, so no yield sign yet. Okay, I hit the brake because, see, me going so slow, that person basically was like, well, I'm gonna go <laughs> if you're not gonna go. And so, I, I mean, I'm sure the car would have stopped, but I just didn't wanna confuse that person any more than I probably already did. I think the team knows that yields just are not really enabled yet, so I don't know how helpful reporting that kind of stuff is. So moving over for that car, actually very good. A uh, little dramatic, but there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's put one more destination and then go over to those difficult roundabouts. So kind of some street parking here. I just turn on the system. I don't have to do anything once my destination is in and it starts to go. Asking for a little help there. Not sure why it did everything fine. Yeah, just after starting the turn and slowing like that, no good. Back to this roundabout, I'm just gonna hit the accelerator. We know that the car does not do yield signs appropriately. So we got this left turn, another one of my complaints. It's hitting the brake and the turn signal is not on. You should have the turn signal on before you hit the brake. So going through the left turn, a little again, a little slow, but it, it does it. Hmm, interesting. So that's like a little bump in the road there. It was not a speed bump, just a crappy road and the car slowed down for it. So that was really good, but I'm guessing it thought it was a speed bump. See like this, maybe those are speed bumps. They're just worn down or something. Huh, interesting. Okay, so we made it to our destination. I'm gonna put in that, whoa, that's a big curb. Uh, I'm gonna put in that mall and I wanna go into this thing and see what it does. Okay, I have the mall set as our destination. I just wanna see if it can do this turnaround here. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. So it did that yield sign correctly, but is it a fluke or what? I, I don't know, but it, it was good. There was nobody there. I'm gonna hit the accelerator there because it's time to go and the car's not doing it. And that could have caused it to go a little towards the curb there, but yeah, that hesitation, I'm just not enjoying that. So now that said stopping for traffic control, but then it must have really, okay, so a little break there 
and then through. So it must have realized it was blinking yellow rather than just a yellow turning to red. Oh, that was good. So it, it's, not, it's not at 25 or 27 yet, but it saw that speed limit sign and started to reduce its speed before it got to it. It didn't used to do that, and I had a lot of comments about that in the videos. I'm not too particular about it, but you are, of course, once you pass that speed limit sign, you need to be going that speed. Hitting the accelerator. We know it doesn't work. Aggressive acceleration there through the green light, which was good. And then wrong turn into that lane. Yeah, and we don't have a left. Yeah, and then it's switching back over. So, yeah, you have to stay to the right, of course. But beyond that, pretty good. Those globes over there, if you don't know, it's if you want to dine outside, it has nothing to do with COVID. It's, they have those to have outside dining when it's colder out in the state. Me turning the turn signal on to let the people around me know that I'm turning right here. And we have green arrow, so it should be easy. I don't know how people keep their hand <laughs> off the wheel when they're using autopilot. That is just annoying. It asks you for input so often. I was trying to just kind of use this, you know, you can use the scroll wheels, but man, you have to do it like every five seconds. Wow, this looks more complicated than I thought. So we have the three roundabouts in a row. There's two here and then a third one here, which we're going straight through. And then another roundabout, which we have to take the third exit for. And then we're gonna go all the way around. It looks like to kind of the end of the parking lot of the mall. I've only been here like once, so I'm not that familiar with it. What, why is this divided? I hope I, okay, so I'm still in the roundabout. So accelerator. Oh, oh, confused. Wow, that's surprising. Okay. I will stop with the turn signals. I will turn it back on when I can, but I can't yet. Okay, so we'll send that to them. Obviously, they'll want to know that. So yeah, it did, it did confuse it. That was weird. Why would they have a divided entrance to the roundabout there? I just, I don't really understand. Driving visualization temporarily degraded. So that's why I can't turn it on and it's not showing anything. Well, this is not very fun. I'm gonna pull over here and reset. Okay, it's back, all right. That's crazy. <laughs> I have no, it just, it freaked out. It freaked out. So hopefully that's some really good data for them to see exactly what happened there. So we're heading, wow, what is, this is like roundabout land. What is happening here? <laughs> Kidding. A little abruptly, but all right. We're in the roundabout, nice and aggressive which I'm liking, doing a great job going around. It didn't stop for the yield sign, which is sweet. I, I feel like it's a fluke, but it didn't do it. Oh man, yeah, this is, look at all this, what is happening? There's just too much going on. This is great. Look at all these visuals. Wow, all the parked cars, very cool. So we have another roundabout. It did change to 15 here. So it does see 15 mile per hour speed limit signs, even though it didn't earlier. So we're stopping for this yield sign, which we don't want. I'm gonna hit the accelerator because there's a car over there. Oh, and then this isn't good enough for a roundabout this time. All right, no roundabout here. Oh, there's a cool obstacle. Slow down. Nice, it goes around whatever that thing is. Oh, I think we're going the wrong way on a one way street. <laughs> Uh, nobody's here, it's okay. All right, I kind of want to get out of this weird little back area. Let's send it to a store and then we'll be done. Yeah, so the map is just kind of messed up here, so it doesn't know what to do. All right, so let's get out of here. Okay, so this is going to take us back through. Actually, can I turn it on when it has to go in reverse? Let's see. No, so for now it needs me to back out of parking spots. It does pick up those big pieces of construction equipment as vehicles. So nice job handling that, a little weird. And if a bunch of other cars were there, wouldn't have been as appropriate, but it did it. 
kind of randomly. I guess that was a lane change. That was strange. Oh, big hole. Oh yeah, it's definitely not avoiding potholes yet. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, so as we head out, final thoughts on Beta 7. Pretty good. It's hard for, you, for me to remember all of the, needed a turn signal there, all of the different things that happened on the drive. You know, you of course can pause and rewind and, and have all the notes in the bottom. But uh, no, no glaring issues. We had the one computer crash, which was pretty interesting. I have no idea why. It was almost like it got confused. I'm, I'm just totally guessing. It was almost like it got confused and overloaded or something. But beyond that, I was pretty, I was really impressed with that parking lot we just went through. Very strange, which with like tons of roundabouts everywhere. Like what were these people thinking? <laughs> they thought like everybody would be driving through there. But anyway, uh, yeah, pretty impressed. I'm, I'm liking it. It is getting better. As far as public release, you know, this question I keep, keep getting asked, when do you think we're getting it? My answer is just been one to six months. I just keep saying that over and over again because I have no idea. Uh, at this point, if they were to release to the public, I think they would need confirmations at turns. Uh, kind of like we had, or we have for the green lights, right? It, it'll stop at a green light if nobody's in front of you and you have to confirm with either the stock or the accelerator. If they're gonna release this publicly, that's my guess. I don't know if they're gonna do anything like that, but I think that's what they'd need for now. But it's getting better. It's way better than when I first got it. I mean, almost a month ago now. Can't believe it's been that long. But whenever I got it, it was not as good as it is now, not even close. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 